Okay, guys. So, a lot of you had a uh, request to. Well, actually, one of you, but whatever. Uh, anyway, um, you guys had the request to uh, figure out how I did this video. I'll just pull it up real quick. One moment. Okay, you wanted to know about this video. Here it is. I'm just letting you know right now, that video sucks. Okay, that was like my first time ever with that. So, open up your browser to start. <clears throat> I'm actually going to pull this out. All right, and look up pre-keyed. Uh, I'll say muzzle flash. All right. Oh, uh, one tip. I know a lot of people just go to YouTube. Go to pre key. Oh, pre keyed. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Keyed muzzle flash. They just look it up on YouTube and say, oh, I can use this, blah, blah, blah. But when you uh, download that, it does not work. I'm, I'm not sure why, but it does not work. Um, the way keyframing, keyframe, eh, not keyframing. Um, eh, I'm just going to call it green screening. The way it works is you, uh, you key it in. And it takes away a solid color that you don't want in the uh, effect. So th that way, all you have is the actual effect itself. Now, this is what you're going to be looking for. It may be in a video, but always check the description. Show more. Get it now, blah, blah. You know. Always check the description. For the actual pack. Now this is 20 bucks. I ain't paying that for a stinking effect. Let me see. See, this is what you want. Ah, here it is. This is actually the one I'm using. It's just a, uh, it's just a muzzle flash. to show it to you actually and um, that is at I'll, I'll put it in the description but it's at footagecrate.com and it's this one right here <clears throat> but now this is a very wimpy video I took this from someone else click right here to go to that um, I took this video from uh, someone already on there that had already posted a video, it's just them playing around, I guess. But what I did was I added effects to it and a little bit of music. If you notice but it doesn't actually play the effects and I'll get to that but so I'm gonna go back to project library and new project I'm gonna name it whatever whatever you guys want Create. okay 
So you'll want to take your footage. I'm just gonna take about that much. That's 11 seconds. Apparently, this is not the original video. Oh, okay. Sorry, guys, I grabbed the wrong one. Okay, this is the one I want. Yes. Okay, so I'm going to take about 15 seconds of it. I'm going to actually mute it so I don't have to hear that every time I scroll. And you can actually mute it right here, but whatever. Anyway. So they're just doing a bunch of stuff. And so I'm going to go in and add some effects. So I have my uh, muzzle flash right here. As you can see, it's pretty good. The smoke is very nice. But anyway, I'm just going to take the whole thing. Oh, I forgot the most important aspect okay you'll want to go to preferences and you'll want to actually check show advanced tools you want that to be checked and you'll see some new tools right here but we don't have to worry about those those are pointless what we really are worried about is this when you're dragging over the video you want to find the place that you want the effect to be we don't need it right there because his muzzle is out of the picture so you aren't going to actually see anything right there. Now right here, I'm going to put one right there. And this is what will come up if you have uh, advanced tools activated. And what you want is picture in picture. Basically it's taking the video and just putting it in. Now like I said, if this is a YouTube video, then it will just be black. I don't know why, but it will. Now, I know it's facing the wrong direction, but I didn't really care for this. Not the point to be accurate right now, so... Okay, so as you can see, it placed it above the video and made it transparent. So, if we go ahead and, let me see, finalize the project. Uno momento. <clears throat> anyway, if we finalize the project, then the effect should start showing up. Sort of like rendering if you don't if you know what that means. See? Now it does not actually play it because this is just the editing. You can just see it without it having to like freeze the video or something. Okay, so it's right there. So you know basically what you're Going to be looking at now. What we do want to do is shorten that. I'm going to go ahead. Oop. Okay. We want to short. Uh, we want to blow this up, and we want to shorten this. Very short. 0.5 is as low as as you can go without going down here. This is actually a nice tip. If you go down here and select just a little bit of it then you can have as little time as you need see it's still 0 0.1, 0 0.2 is at that point so let's drag that up here let's put it right here picture in picture we're going to delete this one now you can't see that of course but anyway I don't actually mind the uh, the entire thing being there because I'm just showing you guys how to do that I'm not trying to post this or anything picture in picture and 3.5 now as long as it goes away before the next scene we're actually gonna have to move it down here can't really see it because it's at the wrong spot, but I'm gonna guess it's right there. Done. Okay. Yeah, that's pretty. It ain't perfect, but hey. 
Okay, so it's gonna be right there. And then right here, it's actually a lot easier. So you can take this and put it right here. Picture in picture. I'm gonna take it down here. We're gonna say it actually goes pretty straight. If you make it smaller, then you don't have to worry as much about details. Okay. So let's actually size that down to 5. 0 0.5 anyway. Oh, that's terrible. It actually moves up there. Let's see. See how bad that is? That's why want to delete that and just take a little smidge of this and the thing is you will have to uh, you'll have to make this very you have to blow it up is what I'm saying there you go you want to put it right why can't I do it oh it has to be more than 0 0.1 or at least more than that, what I had. Or why isn't it doing it? There you go. Ah, there it is. All right. Put it right there. Picture and picture. Scroll down. Or not scroll down. Size down. There you go. All right. And there it is. All right. So. I think you get the point. You just place it in, you line it up, and it'll do the rest. Now, after that, you'll want to grab some uh, music files. Or not music, um, sound files. So, what I search is uh, stuff like gunshot sound effect to MP3. I use MP3 because I'm on a Mac, and it's a lot better on iMovie iMovie is only on Mac, but anyway, it does not support Wave. Okay, just keep that in mind. But anyway, um, I would search around, and guys, if you are gonna make money off of this stuff, make sure that that uh, the word royalty and free are never put together. If you're on a site and it says royalty free, do not use that because you will get sued. That is, if you're making money off of it. Like, if your video is monetized, which means you have advertisements, then that's bad. So let's play that. That's terrible. So let's go back. This one. Alright. Okay, that's, that's okay, but, you know... I know you guys can't really hear this stuff because it's coming through my speakers, but um, what about this? All right, here we go. Ah, that's that's a good one. I already have this one, um, so I'll put the link to this in the uh, description. All right. So I'm gonna search "gun" in my music library. Oh yeah, you'll wanna put it into your iTunes, otherwise iMovie won't be able to find it okay so you'll just wanna uh, go to your downloads and just drag it right onto iMovie like that and just let go I don't have a music file over here ah here we go and you'll just put it in there iTunes will open up and play it and it will now be in iTunes okay so let's just click this one uh oh Play that one. Nope, don't want that. Okay, that's alright. That's alright. Alright, I'm gonna scroll up. Okay. I'm gonna size that down. So it's more abrupt. Okay. Give me a 
see. Oops. There we go. Copy. All right, and then you'll just want to line up your cursor with the next one. Paste it in, and it it's right there. Okay. Now it is not playing very well. This looks terrible, doesn't it? But you know what? We are going to go ahead and go to share. Export using QuickTime because YouTube hates MOVs. So do MPEG4s. Alright? MP4s are so much better. And I already have a couple of things over there. So I'm going to go to desktop. Alright. I'm going to save that. Shouldn't take all that long because it's so short. What are you talking about? No, I got you first. Nope. Mm-mm. Yes, I did. Uh-uh. Mm-mm. Uh-huh. Nope. Yes, I did. No. Uh-huh. No. Yes, I did. Nope. Oh, uh-huh. Uh-uh. Yes, I did. Uh-huh. Nope. Nope. No, 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 no,